Hey, let's learn how to control a robot with your hand gestures and a little help of artificial intelligence, of course. You only need a computer and a BBC microbit board to follow my guide. And I will be controlling my cardboard forklift, but you can use this approach to control any other microbit robot. To train AI model to recognize hand gestures, I will use online app called Teachable Machine. If you want to learn how to use it, check out my other videos. So let's open Teachable Machine and train a model to recognize gestures of my hands that I would like to use to control my robotic car. Let's give clear names to recognition classes such as directions, left, right, up, down, and open and close. If you plan to use your smartphone camera, use sharing apps such as Kmo to train the model. Next step is to test the model if it works good enough and upload it to the cloud. I save the model shareable link for later. On the microbit side, it will receive class names I trained before and with basic if conditions, I can easily code it to do whatever I want. This time I want it to control the motors in the wheels to turn accordingly to desired directions. For example, when the microbit receives class name left, the motors are set to turn the robot left. Last thing we have to do in MakeCode is to check if my project settings are set to just works to make the microbit discoverable via Bluetooth. Now I take the shareable link from Teachable Machine and open it in my Teachable Microbit app. You can find it online on Cardboard Robot's website. This app connects the AI model with Microbit over Bluetooth. I can use the app on laptop or smartphone, this time I want the convenience of running it on a smartphone. I paste the link in the prompt window and when it opens, I click robot icon in upper right corner and connect with the microbit board. If everything was done correctly, my robot should react to hand gestures I trained before. Bear in mind that training an AI model to work perfectly is not an easy task. It is very simple to make a functional prototype, but it is a bit of trial and error to make the model work good enough in all conditions. Of course, you can train the model to recognize anything you want. It might be your facial expressions or some signs or any other objects. And that is all. As always, if you build anything with this app, please let me know and have fun. Mm -hmm.